have released the book written by Comrade P. Sampath on the struggles against caste oppression. This is a book which has recorded the experience of Comrade Sampath in the field in the struggles against various forms of caste oppression and caste discrimination. And as such, it is a valuable record and document for all those who are interested in the fight against the caste system and caste oppression in our country, not only in Tamil Nadu. From what I have gathered about the content of the book, the book has written about the various struggles against caste oppression starting from the district in which he worked as a party secretary, Tutukudi, and in various parts of southern Tamil Nadu. And this is a record of how the party has sought to take up the rights of the Dalits and other oppressed sections of our society against all forms of oppression, including atrocities against the Dalits. And Comrade Sampath has had long experience being associated with the Tamil Nadu untouchability eradication front. He served as its president and as a leader of this organization for a long time. And it is this TNUF which conducted surveys in the rural areas to document the various types of caste oppression and discrimination that is practiced even today in India. Particularly the time of the 1990s where the struggles against caste oppression are documented and then the surveys which were conducted actually provided concrete proof and evidence of how untouchability is practiced even today in the rural areas of Tamil Nadu, which was overlooked and refused to be accepted by even enlightened people in our society. I remember the early struggles launched by the TNUF temple entry in number of villages where Dalits were being denied entry into temples and then the untouchability, untouchability walls which existed in various small towns and rural areas in Tamil Nadu. I recall the time when Comrade Sampat was directly involved in the Uttaparam struggle to demolish the wall there. And I had gone there after it was declared that on that particular day we will actually break down the wall. But just the day before that, the administration took some steps to break the wall or breach the wall. Comrade Sampath had participated in the struggle and had been uh, arrested and beaten by the police in that struggle. So the rich experience of the fight against caste oppression and untouchability is, I'm sure, captured in this book, though I could not have, could not yet read the book because I'm unable to read in Tamil. But I've got the gist of the book uh, which was given to me. And the point I would like to make is first that 
this book should be translated into English so that we can then make it available to a wider public outside Tamil Nadu and we can get it translated into other Indian languages. Comrade Sampat has in the concluding chapters also pointed out the long term solution to the problem of untouchability and caste oppression. As Marxists we believe that caste oppression or caste discrimination is not just a matter of belief and sentiment. In our society, the caste system is a structural system. It is part of the structure of our society. And that is why we have seen that even when the mode of production changes, we have capitalism now in our society, the structure of caste system is utilized by capitalism also. In fact, the Dalits are today exploited. Their labor is exploited cheaply to extract surplus value for the capitalists. So you have to understand that you cannot fight the caste system without fighting against the existing socio-economic structure in our society. Because caste and class are intertwined in our society. And that is very why Common Sampath has correctly pointed out the need to combine the struggle against class exploitation with the struggle against the oppressive caste system and the caste uh, 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 exploit as uh, caste oppression. It is our duty to carry on this struggle together and simultaneously. A failure to do so would mean that the caste system and the st structure of caste exploitation will continue to remain and perpetuate itself. And if we do not fight the class exploitation simultaneously, we will not be able to mobilize all the forces in our society, the working people, Unite them so that the fight against uh, class exploitation and caste oppression goes on simultaneously and only that combined struggle, that simultaneous struggle will help us to end all forms of injustice in our society. Today all the, this is all the more important because we have today the dominant political force in our country is the forces which believe in Hindutva, the BJP and the RSS. And what the BJP and the RSS are trying to accomplish is to perpetuate Manusmriti, perpetuate Varnashra Dharma. But under the cover of a pan-Hindu identity. They want to co-opt all the castes, all the lower castes into this Hindutva identity and for that they are taking steps. Politically, the political sphere we can see it every day, the way they are trying to co-opt the other backward classes the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes into a pan-Hindu order without disturbing the caste structure, without disturbing the social inequalities which are there perpetuated by the Hindu Brahminical order. This is the attempt which they are pursuing seriously. You will see in the case of the recent Ram temple opening at Ayodhya and the whole movement for the Ram temple. They had symbolically, the first Shilanyas was conducted, they laid the brick for the Ram temple in the, through the hands of a Dalit. 
they would like to show that Dalits are part of the Hindu order. And by such token symbolism, they want to co-opt all the oppressed castes into the pan-Hindu, pan-Hindutva order. So, the fight today, when we are fighting against the Hindutva communal forces, we must understand that the more effective way to fight them is also to fight against all forms of social oppression and injustice and to unite all working people against this Hindutva corporate communal alliance. So the fight against the Hindutva corporate alliance requires a fight against class exploitation and at the same time the fight against the uh, caste system and the caste uh, oppression. We have had more than a hundred years of history of social reform and anti-caste movements in our country. Even Tamil Nadu had this historical experience of the anti-caste movement of social reform in the form of the Dravidian movement. But today what do we find? That potential which was there for social reform, for anti-caste movements, that has got exhausted, has got diverted. Today in Tamil Nadu we find still atrocities against Dalits in various parts of the country. We find that there is the unfortunate situation where in the caste ladder, somebody who is right down below will oppress the ones below them. You see, this sort of, that is why I said it's a structure. So, the fight for complete elimination of caste, what Dr. Ambedkar said, the annihilation of caste, that is not being pursued, unfortunately. And if we have to pursue it in contemporary times, we have to recognize that the potential, the movement for abolition of caste, for the ending of caste system, will succeed only when it is combined with the class struggle. Both these movements and struggles must be taken forward. And it is all the more important today when we have this right-wing communal offensive which is seeking to reverse all the gains made by the social reform movements of the past and we have to have a new project to assert that we want a casteless and classless society and for that we will build the unity of all sections of the oppressed and exploited. I am sure that this book by Comrade Sampath will make a valuable contribution for our ongoing struggle to end caste and class exploitation. Thank you.